what's going on? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make vertical videos in iMovie. So, on that note, let's dive right in. Now here we are in front of my computer screen, and before we actually dive into actually making the vertical video, I'm going to explain to you why having a vertical video may be beneficial to you. There are some platforms out there, like TikTok, YouTube Shorts is a new thing now. These are going to be perfect reasons why you'll want to have a vertical video. Having vertical videos for these types of platforms is going to allow you to have the most compatible type of video and it's just going to look more aesthetically pleasing when you actually post on those platforms. So if you're somebody that's really trying to get into TikTok, if you're somebody that's really trying to change your YouTube game, having these vertical videos is really going to help you in the long run. So again, Back to my computer screen, here we are. This is what iMovie looks like when you first open it. You have any previous projects that you were working on and you, we wanna create a new video. We wanna create a vertical video. So what you would typically do, you would come here, you click on create new. When you click on create new, your options are movie or trailer. Now these are gonna be your typical landscape format, regular rectangle, not vertical type of format. So to get to the vertical format where when you edit it, everything's gonna be in the vertical format, you're not gonna click either of these two options. What you're gonna do, you're gonna go to the top, click on file. Now when you click on file, you see you have new movie, new trailer. Those are the two options that you typically see when you click on create new, but there's also new app preview. Now this is gonna be something that people can use if they're developing an app, and this is gonna allow them to see what their app is gonna look like in the format that it should be in, which is typically on a phone. And the orientation for a phone is that vertical format. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on new app preview. And as you can see, you have a little explanation that shows up. And all you need to do from here is click on okay. So we're gonna click on okay. Now it may not look like it at first, but we're able to start actually editing our video in that vertical format. So from here, you need to bring in your media just so you can see exactly how you can start editing in this type of vertical format. So we're gonna bring in a video that I did on TikTok and I recently posted, and we're gonna make it right there. That This is the one. So. We're gonna import that footage just so you can see exactly how it's gonna look on your screen. So our footage is imported and we're gonna click and drag it to our timeline. Now, you see this is the video, but if we look to our right section over here, you can see that it is in that vertical format. That is exactly what we want. If we clicked on create a regular movie or a trailer, we wouldn't have this vertical format right now. We would just have that regular square rectangle format that we typically see. Now from here, your editing options are usually exactly the same as they would be if you were editing a regular type of video. However, the differences come when you wanna add titles, backgrounds, and transitions. So if we look under the titles tab, we're gonna see that if we compare this to the regular movie titles that we have, there are a, quite fewer options than we usually have. So the titles that you're given when you do this app preview, those options are gonna be significantly fewer. But editing with these titles is gonna be very simple. All you have to do, select one, click, drag it down, and as you can see, we press play. That is what the title looks like. So we can edit it how we want, we can come, Click on text, add title, add title, add whatever text we want, add whatever type of font we want. With this specific title, we can't change the font size. So we're just stuck with, with it right there. And that is some of the limitations you get with iMovie. You're not always gonna be able to edit everything that you actually want to edit. But if you have a specific title that you wanna add to your video, but you don't see it listed here, there's a little trick that you can do. So we're gonna delete this title that we have right here. And we're gonna add a title that isn't listed 
in these titles. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to projects. And as you can see, this our app preview, that is our vertical video. But we have other videos here that we've worked on in the past. So we're gonna click on one of them, open that up, and we're gonna come to the titles tab under here. Now, as you can see, we have all the regular titles that we would usually see in a regular video. And we wanna add one of these to our vertical video. So how do we do that? Well, all we need to do, we need to find a title that we want. Let's, let's go with this pixie dust one. Let's see how it looks, pixie dust. Boom, there it is. So we're gonna drag this on to the timeline of the video that we're currently on right now. This title is currently on the video that we have in place right now. And what we wanna do, we're gonna play it, is making sure, make sure it works, and then we are gonna edit it how we want. Uh, vertical video, that's what we're gonna name it. I like this font for this type of title. So we're gonna leave everything else the same. We're not gonna try and change anything else. But what we're gonna do next, we're gonna click on it, make sure the title's highlighted. We are gonna right click, we are gonna copy this title. And next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to our vertical video, which is the app preview, open that back up. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna paste this title exactly where we want it to be. Paste. And now, as you can see, pixie dust, that same exact title that we had in the previous video, we copied and pasted it onto our vertical video. And now we have it right here on our vertical video. Now, if we wanted to come and edit this title in the vertical video, our options are still gonna be a little limited. We can, yeah, we can change the font however we want if we wanted to, but the size, as you can see, we can't edit the size of this text and there's not really other, many other options that we have with this. So my suggestion would be to edit the title exactly how you want it to be on the other video before you paste it onto your vertical video. Let me say that again. Edit the title exactly how you want it to be on your previous video, exactly how you would have it on your vertical video. And then all you have to do is copy and paste it and you should be good from there. And the same holds true when it comes to backgrounds and the transitions. With the backgrounds, as you can see, you don't have nearly as many background options. So the same thing is gonna apply. You just need to copy and paste if you want a specific background from a previous video on to your vertical videos. Now say you have your vertical video edited exactly how you want it to be. You have everything set up exactly how you want it. The next thing you need to do is export your video. Now to do this, to have the best export settings so that you have the best quality video, you need to come over here to the top right, click on the share button, and we're gonna click on export file. From here, you have app preview one, you can change the title, and you can add a description if you want, tags iMovie, you don't really need to worry about that. Format, video and audio. If you have audio, you're gonna wanna make sure you have the audio in there, so make sure you have it as video and audio. Quality, we want the high quality, compressed, faster, that's fine. But when it comes to vertical videos, the resolution is what we really wanna focus on. So if we click on resolution, you have 1080p, 720p, and 540p. The higher this number, the higher the quality of that video is gonna be. So it is currently on 1080p. With some of your videos, you may have the option to actually make it 4K. And if you have the option to make it 4K, I would suggest making your resolution 4K. That's only gonna help you when you export your video. Even if you don't have a 4K video, exporting it on a 4K resolution is still gonna get compressed by iMovie a little bit. And when you compress the 4K file, it's gonna end up being 1080 by 1920. And if you look at most typical vertical videos, that is the resolution you're gonna see it on the phone screen. So if you have the option of 4K, you're not gonna lose any kind of quality. But since we don't have the 4K option, we're gonna keep it at 1080. We may lose a, a little bit of quality, but the quality that we do lose is not gonna be very much. 
So we're gonna click on next and we're gonna save it to our desktop as at preview one. Save that and we're gonna wait for it to save. Now that our movie is saved, we're gonna take a look at it and see exactly how it looks in the vertical format. So come to our finder and come to our desktop, find at preview one, double click that, open it up. And as you can see, it is a vertical video. Now this video doesn't have any sound to it just yet because it was a TikTok. I added a sound in the TikTok app, but you're gonna see exactly how it looks as I'm playing it. So as you can see, it is a pretty good video just based on the quality alone. I saved it at that 1080p resolution. Even though I didn't have the option of 4K, it still has that nice quality that I'm looking for. And this is the highest quality that I had the option to save it as. So as you can see, there's no problems when it comes to saving this vertical video. So as you can see, creating a vertical video in iMovie, editing a vertical video in iMovie, and exporting a video in iMovie really isn't too difficult at all. These are all simple things that once you just know exactly how to create that vertical video to begin with, everything from there should be smooth sailing. Now, if this is a video that you found to be very helpful, very useful, and if this is something that you think you're gonna use in the future, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. And if you happen to have any questions about iMovie, leave them down below and maybe I'll make a video about it in the future. But on that note, that's all I got for you today. I'm Steven from Dare to Capture. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.